Hey guys, so in this video, what we will be doing here is um, we'll be implementing rock paper scissor game in uh, in uh, Python code. So we'll be making a Python code of this game. So it's a small child's play. You can uh, think of. A uh, lot of people are not aware of uh, what this uh, game is. So uh, how it is played? First, I will tell you uh, in the in in uh, whiteboard. So here I'll be telling you how this game is played, and next in computer screen I'll be coding it, so so that um, uh, you will have a program uh, which can play this game from via which one can play this game. Okay, so this game is played between uh, two persons. So one is uh, I'm uh, taking player one that is us, and another is uh, CPU. Okay, computer I am calling it as. So Uh, you can have another player uh, uh, in verses with you, uh, uh, so it is not necessarily. But uh, here uh, we are only working alone, so I am taking other another guy's computer. So we will be programming it, right? So I am taking another guy's computer and for uh, uh, P one as us, right? So rock paper scissor is a game uh, which we play with our hands, and it is playing uh, play uh, played between kids uh, usually and. Uh, Uh, you can also play with uh, uh, adults but uh, mostly it has been seen in among children okay so what you do is you choose out of rock paper or scissor any one at the same time you have another player that will choose between rock paper and scissor and whatever the both the guys have chosen depending upon that uh, results will come and one of them will win okay so both players have to choose at the same time so it's not like uh, this guy will ch uh, choose first or then cpu will choose or uh, other way around so they both have to select at the same time out of these three rock paper or scissor what does this mean so you can see here that this i have made a rock with a scissor and this dotted line i am showing it as uh, paper okay so the, how the results are um, how the results are uh, generated and that's what you can see here so let's say p1 chooses uh, paper and cpu chooses rock okay so if it will choose rock then paper can wrap the ro uh, rock like this and in that case paper will win okay that's the logic if uh, uh, cpu chooses uh, rock but uh, uh, p1 chooses paper instead uh, uh, p1 chooses scissor instead of paper then this will be the result rock will not be a uh, scissor will not be able to cut the rock and hence rock will win okay so rock can win from scissor but it cannot win from paper the logic is scissor will not be able to cut the rock hence rock will win but paper can wrap the ro uh, rock it can wrap okay uh, uh, as a whole that's why rock will uh, lose to paper okay uh, and here you can see each of them will uh, lose from one and win from another okay so here you can see you have a scissor so this is about rock rock can lose uh, rock can win from scissor but it cannot win from paper similarly scissor in case of scissor what will happen scissor can win from paper because it can cut it okay paper can be cut by scissor that's why scissor will win if rock will be there scissor will not be able to cut it hence rock will win okay similarly for third guy paper here you can see paper can wrap the rock hence paper will win but it cannot be able to handle scissor scissor can cut the paper hence in this case scissor will win okay so each of them are losing to one and uh, can be win from the other right so rock can lose to paper but it can win from scissor scissor can lose to rock but it will win against paper similarly you will have a uh, paper which can win from rock but it will lose from scissor right each of them are able to uh, means you are able to see the result no so first uh, what will happen two players will choose simultaneously they have to choose and uh, one of them will be chosen 
and uh, depending upon these result will come let's say if both of them chooses same thing like this guy also chooses rock this guy also chooses rock then it's a tie you have to play again okay same thing goes with paper and scissor as well so if they are same you have to play again if they are different the results will be um, based on these conditions so that is how you play game so uh, generally what happens in real life so you have uh, uh, like uh, this both two hands so this is the cpu's hand you can imagine this is uh, you can imagine uh, player's hand p1's hand so rock paper scissor that's it so this is paper this is rock so paper can wrap the rock hence paper will win okay again let's play again rock paper scissor this is how scissor is made so scissor can cut the paper this is paper paper is represented in this way scissor in this way and rock in this way okay so scissor can cut the paper hence paper will lose and scissor will win cpu will win for example let's say rock paper scissor so this is rock this is scissor scissor cannot cut rock hence rock will win so p1 will win so this is a, this is the play uh, so hopefully you have got the feel and uh, this is what we will be implementing it so just try to do on your own so imagine uh, you have um, some variable uh, uh, which will take input from uh, p1 that is u and uh, out of uh, this you have to feed the input right rock paper or scissor let's call it r p and s and same thing goes with cpu as well but this time what i'll do i'll make a list of rock paper and scissor and uh, 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 it will choose from out of for one of uh, 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 the element of the list right uh, either rock paper or scissor randomly it has to choose so that is what i'll do randomly it will choose among these three then whatever the output uh, the whatever both will choose if they are equal uh, then uh, i'll uh, write uh, tie and um, i'll call it play again if they are different i'll uh, uh, give the outcome based upon these conditions that's just simple if and or else will work uh, so that's how i am go uh, going to implement it and uh, so uh, hopefully you have got the explanation and you have learned the game it is uh, very childish type and you can search about this and you will you will get to know more about this okay so let's get to the uh, screen and i'll show you how to code it okay so let's code it what we have done uh, so here i am using online gdb uh, online python compiler so you can use it too if you want so let's take the input first of all so taking inputs taking inputs okay so i'll i'll uh, take first player's input player uh, choice i'll call it player choice is equal to input we have to take the input input and uh, i'll uh, call it uh, mm, choose between rock that is r comma paper that is p and scissor that is s so it the guy will choose and comma i'll uh, mm, uh, i won't i won't write anything okay uh, what i'll do is i'll uh, take next line okay whatever will be printed will be printed in next line right mm. uh, anyway it will print i think uh, then let me take uh, cpu's input that is choice oh that is equal to so what i have to do is um, i have to take input among the list okay randomly i have to choose 
so one thing i can do i can make a list l is equal to i'll uh, put r comma p comma s but i have to g choose it in string form okay so r means rock p means paper and s means scissor right then uh, what it will do is uh, we'll do random random dot choice inside this will feed the list l okay but random is not defined so random we have to import it random okay so it will choose from uh, because of random it will choose out of r p and s uh, uh, any one of it okay so let me print cpu choice and uh, player choice as well print player choice let's see choose between rock paper and scissor so i'll choose r so uh, cpu also chose r let me run it again again i'll choose r but this time cpu chose s so out of r p and s it is choosing any one randomly okay every time you run the program it will choose something new okay you can avoid uh, 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 initializing l directly you can give here okay like this so you don't have to define a new variable so now you have player's choice now first thing what i'll do if both the players having same uh, choice then uh, we'll call it as you have to play again right so let me comment it if both players choose same then play again uh, it's a sort of tie you can think of so how to check just a if condition if player choice equal to equal to cpu choice right then what do you call you have to write uh, print tie i'll write tie play again okay and i'll uh, i'll um, shut down the program i mean i'll exit the program so for that what i'll do sys dot exit so we we stop the execution actually so for that i have to import sys as well right this is how it will look so this is for when you they are having a tie now let's do the condition for others uh, decide who wins let me call decide who wins okay just a if i else condition i'll write again uh, so um, let me take uh, how shall i write uh, first we have to choose it right uh, so let me do it later on so if let me write the conditions first okay so if player chooses if player choice is equal to is equal to p let's say it is called paper right uh, so if it is or let me start with rock only r if uh, player chooses r rock and and cpu choice cpu chooses uh, let's say s okay rock and s so what will happen if uh, rock and s then uh, who will win rock will win 
right rock vinyl so print Oof. print player wins player wins uh, right this is how we can write else if l l if l if uh, we'll write the condition again uh, reverse but this time okay if reverse will happen so i'll take and copy if reverse will happen means player chooses s and this guy chooses r cpu then reverse will be written print cpu wins c p u or you lose you can write cpu wins you can uh let me write you lose okay so this is for paper and uh, uh, rock and scissor right this combo is for rock and scissor same thing you can do for rock and paper and uh, scissor and paper likewise you can make all the cases right so let me copy whole this thing control c and uh, just i'll give a space one space so that you can figure out a difference now this time what i'll do instead of r and s i'll take r and p so here it is p and here it is p so what will happen a rock and paper means paper will win right so cpu wins c p u wins here also not cpu wins you lose you lose you wins uh, will not come you win better to write you win okay you win you lose you lose you win so if you will choose paper and uh, the computer will choose rock then you will win and similar case you can take with paper and scissor i'll keep one uh, space so this time scissor and paper scissor and paper so if uh, here uh, what will happen scissor is chosen by player and uh, cpu chooses paper so you win right similarly here paper is chosen by player so you lose so that is how all four condition are met okay so let's play it let me choose s so you lose because uh, i have chosen s scissor and computer chose rock so scissor will not be able to break the rock right so i lose let me do it once again uh this time i'll choose p so both guys played uh, both uh, uh, cpu and i chose p and p paper so it's a tie play again okay play again let me run it again uh let this time i'll choose rock so both chose rock and play again okay let me run it let's choose p this time so i chose p uh computer chose rock so paper can cover the rock so i won you know that is how you can uh, you can uh design it now there are some problems so let me show you so if i'll run and i'll uh, instead of putting r p and s if i'll put u or y still it is producing some output right so i have to handle the uh, invalid inputs so what i'll do is i'll write a if condition uh, outside here okay so here i'll write if player choice is equal to uh, is equal to is equal to p 
right either it will choose p r or s then and then only it will go inside so or the same thing i'll take i'll see will be either p r or s or s then and then only it will check the result so these all things i will bring the tab okay so if uh, uh, the player choice is uh, the among these guys either p r or s then and then only it will calculate for this result else what it will do else it will call it print it will write print invalid input i will write invalid player input in invalid player input okay so invalid player input and then i'll uh, stop the execution so not caps this dot exit okay so that will take care of the invalid inputs so let me print uh, k here so you can see k and s uh, you wrote k and uh, uh, computer chooses s invalid player input okay so that is how it is being handled now um, uh, so this is how uh, it is being done if you want you can hide the player and uh, computers inputs so it will just show you directly who won so if i'll print t invalid player input let's run it again if you'll choose r you win okay so it is not showing what uh, computer chose so let me do this so that you will be able to see it now so this this completes our uh, 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 the code uh, what else is remaining is if you want to play it again and again then what you will have to do so every time you have to press run to play it again right so if there is something i can do which uh, can uh, ask me uh, whether i want to play it again or not okay so let me call it as a temp variable here uh hmm so where should i write hmm okay i'll i'll write here everything i'll keep inside a while loop while temp equal to is equal to true then and then only it will uh play the game right and at last what i'll do is uh so if i'll um hmm uh i'll i'll update temp temp is equal to true update temp so temp will be equal to um let me call it as yes or uh, y okay so here temp will be is equal to input here i'll write wanna play again uh in bracket i'll write y comma no yes comma no so you have to give out of a yes or no so if this will be a yes temp will be yes it will play else uh, if it is no then it will not uh, play let's run it 
You lose because I chose S. Scissor will not be able to cut rock, so I lose. Let me put Y. You lose. Okay, so I am not taking the input. I'll cut. I am not uh, okay. So it was still executing. That's why I was not able to cut. Okay, so now, yeah, let's run it. So let me choose scissor. So S uh, is scissor, P is uh, paper. So scissor will win, means I won. Now it is asking again, wanna play again? So if I'll call no and press enter, uh, you have finished the program. Uh, so let me run it again. So this time I chose paper. So paper, paper tie, play again. Okay, so it is executing here as well, right? So what do we have to do with this? So it will uh, stop the execution, no? If it is a tie. Mm. So this we don't need. We'll just print type play again. Similarly, here also invalid input. Okay, let me run it again. So this time I chose S. You lose, wanna play? Yes. Choose between rock, paper, scissor, P. Type play again? Yes. Choose between rock, paper, scissor, R. You win, wanna play again? Yes. Choose between uh, rock, paper, this time I'll choose O, invalid input. So you, I chose O, uh, CPU chose R, invalid player input, right? So as, a, as far as you are uh, putting Y all the time, uh, it will be able to uh, play again. You will be able to play again if you'll put no will not play again right let me put some invalid input so then also uh, it is finished okay so because uh, you are not putting y it will not execute here again so that is uh, what uh, all about um, so hopefully you have uh, liked this uh, problem a small game so this is how you designed you can see there is nothing much i have done uh, only this this two things uh, this random thing i have uh, I have used which is uh, which is something new so you can get a logic like this I mean you can search in internet how I can choose randomly between a, a, a list elements so so that I can pick one element randomly from a list that is how you can search in Python uh, Google search and it will give you this uh, library okay so that is how you can um, search then rest everything whatever I have used is just if else condition or while loop it is nothing some 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 extra knowledge or something big I have done here.
so just a simple if else loop while uh, those things uh, i've used and this is thing just to even this also you don't need now because you are using while loop okay so just a random library you have to used and uh, you can see if else condition player input i have taken so all these things are easy so there is no need to you to learn a lot of big things in python just a simple stuff i've used you just need to know the game and you have to apply the uh, logic means like how you have applied with simple things if else while so you have you are able to design a simple game right so hopefully you got the feel and practical type of vibe you you might have got so uh, let me see some other games as well small small games i'll try to build uh, so that uh, this can be taken as your practice project type uh, mind you uh, this this is uh, not for you to submit in schools or colleges uh, i don't think this is uh, a proper uh, project or something this is just some sort of assignment you can take it as uh, don't submit as a as a project or something because this is very childish stuff in uh, python you you are not supposed to do this much uh, i mean you should make something big or unsolved uh, uh, problem in your project rather than going for this small small games okay this is just for your practice or you can take it as an assignment okay so let me see some other games as well so that i'll be able to um, uh, implement it and show you as a as a small assignment type okay